What's up guys, welcome to Toothpaste. This is another edition, we got a special edition today. We're gonna to be doing salmon salad. It's a special salad I make for my family. Um, I know a lot of people are working on their health and their diets in the beginning of the year. Hopefully you guys stay um, true to it. But I'm gonna introduce a guest I have today. This is my oldest daughter, Conice. Conice, say hello. Hi. And she's gonna be helping me because I have a little bit of technical difficulty. <laughs> a right a now, broken but I can hand. I still get down in the kitchen. <laughs> so don't test me on it. So anyway, we're gonna go get to it. What I have right now, we have some fresh salmon. Uh, let, let's explain a little about fresh. Fresh is really, really more towards the sea, but you know, this is what you call semi-fresh. I got it from the grocery store. Uh, it probably was frozen or maybe it was shipped in, but we got this from Sprouts. Sprouts is a health store we have around here. Maybe some of you have it around your neighborhood, but we bought this from Sprouts. And we got a couple fillets cut, you know, just for some lunches and stuff. And what we got over here is I have some seasonings I'm going to put on. I'm going to show you how I put this on the smoker. And what I have right now is I got a little mixture of seasoning right here. I had a little display for you. Uh, this young lady right here, she wanted to play with it and shake it up. So we got a little, she did a little pre-mixing for me. So that's what we got here. I got a little brown sugar, light brown sugar right there. Um, some black pepper. Kosher salt. It seems to work better on fish to me. Got some some dill weed. This is what a lot of people put on salmons. I got some paprika for color. A little bit of paprika for color. And I need a little spice. I like a little spice in there, but not too much because the kids can't take it. <laughs> so slap your mama. That's what we got. Slap your mama. It's so hot that it slap your mama. Now I bought this on accident. I wanted to get the mild, but I ended up liking it a little bit, but you just can't use too much. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. And what I'm gonna have her do right now, what we're gonna do first, is we're gonna take one of these big pieces of salmon right here. And see it has the skin on the bottom. I got the one with the skin on the bottom right here. The reason I like to keep the skin on the bottom because when I put it on the grill rack, um, the meat doesn't fall apart um, from the salmon. So, you know, it kind of protects it a little bit. I like to get a little crisp. So go ahead and put that in there, Quinise. So we're gonna get that in there, go ahead and Pull that down there, get that, make sure we get it all the way in the pan. It sticks a little bit. And we're going to take a little bit of season. Go ahead and take a little bit of season. I want you to put some on that, and I want you to spread it around. Don't be scared of it. Put it on there. <laughs> put a little more on there. Don't be scared of it. Okay, now spread that in there a little bit. Yeah, spread it all around. Get that good savory goodness up in there. But that's what we want in there. It's going to caramelize on that smoker, and it's going to get all up in that meat. Now, you can keep this sitting for about an hour or two overnight if you want to and then I make a almost like a brine if you will but make sure when you do that you kind of rinse it off a little bit or you can just keep it on if you want depending on how much flavor you want so it doesn't have to be perfect so what we're going to do now you know we're going to put a little more on it and don't rub it in okay put a little more just a little more there you go and put another piece of salmon on there choose you any one you want to just throw it on top of there all right Put some more on there, same thing we did it in. That helps me get some of that under the skin. Or right, you know, I know you're probably what you're thinking. Did I get some seasoning on the bottom? Well, we'll fix that in a minute. We'll throw some on the bottom. But you know, it really don't matter. It's gonna cook anyway. You know, there's really no right and wrong way to do this. But as long as you do it, you cook it right, you know, and it's cooked thoroughly and it's not dried out. So she got a little more in it. She, she's getting the process as you can see. <laughs> and we're gonna, see, let's move this over here a little bit so we can fit some more, get that all in there. Go ahead, sprinkle that, don't be scared of it. Get it all on there. <laughs> there you go, slather that. That's right, get that all on there, Nisi. You having fun, Nisi? <laughs> yeah. You like cooking? I'm a professional. She's a professional, guys. <laughs> That's only because she's in the kitchen with me. Now, I don't claim to be a professional, but I am good at what I do, so. Go ahead and get that up there. Don't be scared. Throw some more of that, that good saving goodness on there. Trying to save. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, this, guys, I know we talked about health, but this is light sugar, okay? And most of this is going to melt off in the cooking process. This is just to give you some flavor. You know, um, living healthy doesn't have to be boring. Um, you can, you know, it's all in how you cook your food, you know. You don't have to eat bland food. And it's really not about being on a diet, guys. It's about... Uh, better food choices is what I believe in. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of you know that I barbecue. Uh, you know, and, and and that's what I love to do, and I like to stay true to. But I can also eat healthy if I want. 
you know, I, I like, like I said in my last video, I like to have a little balance, but I like to, you know, mix it up a little bit, you know, and this helps me stick to what I like, stick to uh, eating right throughout the year on a consistent basis if I mix it up. So go ahead, get some more in there, Nisa. Just go ahead and dump that all in there. Yeah, you know, if you got to pick up some of these in here, put some more at the bottom here. Let's let's put some more over there. Yeah, there we go. Let's let's get some more. Let's get some more on that one right there. I don't want to get my hand on there, guys. On my cast. And uh, let's put some on the bottom, Conies. Put some on there. I'll let that sit there. Okay. Let's get some more at the bottom right here. Get all that right there. Let that sit on the bottom. There you go. Mix that all in there like that. Get it all in there. Just go ahead and pour it all in there, Conies. Okay. Go ahead and pour it in there, guys. All right, guys. So we got this all in here. You know, I can't help but help her. You know, she's doing a fantastic job. I don't need to even really help her. I just got to get my hands on some food, guys. That means a lot but to me. <laughs> Make sure you wash your hands because uh, what I didn't explain before I did this, I did take the fish and I rinse it off in very cold water. Very cold as you can get it out the faucet. That's to get some of the germs and how much you get. You don't know what's all in the meat, but I rinsed it off and dried it out with a paper towel. I'm sorry for not mentioning that, but make sure you keep your hands clean um, after you do this. And then, so the next step we'll do, I'll meet you outside with throw these bad boys on the smoker. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? We're outside. We got the salmon out here. I got my fire already hot. Um, so I'm using charcoal today, guys. I know a lot of guys in some of my videos I'm um, just talking about I need to use all the wood, but I'm gonna fish today. You can do it however you want to. But what I do have today, I got some little bit of hickory right here. I'm gonna put a little hickory in it today, guys. You can do apple wood, you can do um, all kinds of wood, but what I'll do is just throw that in there and I take my little scraper and I just close that up. That's gonna give it a smoke, a little light smoke smell. That's probably the last piece of wood I'll put in there, guys. Take some of the spray. I got some um, cooking spray. This is so it won't stick to the grating. And I like to spray it. So what I did, guys, I got my temperature. So I got the temperature up to about 250 to 275. And what I'm gonna do now, after I sprayed my rack with my um, cooking spray you want to hurry up and get this on before it lights up guys so I'm just gonna lay it on here skin side down there you go yeah skin side down just like that guys put one right here just kind of arrange them that it won't stay off the fire this is an indirect cooking method is what I'm doing that way that means the fires on one side and then I have my meat and everything on the other so put these over here put that about right there and after that's said and done we're going to take it got that on there and we're going to close it up let your fire get back up to about because you know once you got the lid off it's going to go down so we'll let your fire get back up to 250 275 some people do it at 2 225 that's okay but it's going to cook a little longer the key is just to watch it and make sure that your fire doesn't go anywhere above where you want it and then we'll come back and we're going to once we will take a look at it when it browns a little bit and i'll show you some other little things so stay tuned for that all right guys so we out here again as you see my temperature came up it's 143 on fish you want to kind of that's where you want the temperature you want 140 and above so i'm going to stop it right there you see it's blinking it's going to take this off get ready to take these boys off and what i did uh in the meantime i put some lemon and some fresh dill on it here's my temperature probe we're gonna go ahead and pull this out right here a little bit hot so be careful set that down or wash that after that go ahead and take some of these off you just be careful. I can see it didn't really, it didn't stick at all to my grating, right there. That's what I wanted. That way, it come about pretty good. Right there. I'm just gonna get this big piece off right here. Right there. Try to get you a long spatula so you can get it off with ease. One of the lemons didn't make it to this one. That's okay. Put that right there on the side. Put that on the side. And since we got that all done, all you do is let your little piece right there. 
Mm, really just gonna good. eat on it? Mm hmm. Okay. Let your fire burn out. That's what I like to do. Or smother. I just smother my fire. Get everything in the, in the house, and I'll meet you in there, and we'll just cut this up and put it on a plate. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, guys? We got the salmon off the grill. I mean, take a look at that. It looks real good. We got some vegetables over here. We got some red onion. We got some cucumber, some tomatoes. Get that knife out of the way. Got some eggs, dressing. Got your trusty salmon. I, I went out there and I put some dill weed on it. Some, some good dill weed and some lemons. Avocado. Feta cheese crumbles. Right there, some craft feta cheese crumbles. Lemon for garnish. My daughter got some of these at the store. You can get them at Kroger's or Sprouts. Some crispy onions, garlic pepper. Some fresh cooked bacon for bacon bits. We got some strawberries. Some mushrooms. And guys, we got some organic baby spinach. Wife gets mad when I move real fast. So, slow down right there for y'all guys. And last but not least, mm -mm. got a, I like with fish, I like to drink a light blonde shiner. Really? And for the ladies, <laughs> she likes the Volga Moscato. You know, pair that with some fish, it's pretty good. So let's get the plate over nice. here. So we're gonna have our trusty helper, Quinice. And Quinice is gonna get some spinach. Go ahead and grab that spinach right there. Go ahead and put that on the plate right there. So you're gonna open it up. Let me open it up for you, let me help you. There you go. Grab some of that spinach and put it on the plate. Make it look nice, uh, you know, spread it around for display purposes. There you go, get it all around right there. Get it all the way around. There we go. That's about enough right there on that plate. Right there, guys. And what we're going to do, I'm going to cut the, the salmon and we'll garnish everything around it. You think that makes sense or would you rather just do it the other way? Put it on there first? I'll do it your way. Okay. <laughs> so let's get this dill weed off right here. Let's get this lemon off and let's cut a piece. So what you want to do... You use that knife for everything. Yes, it's my old trusty knife. See, it's coming apart. Y'all see that right there? You need help. <laughs> nah, can I just have a piece? Go ahead, baby. You can have a piece. You want Thank a little you. piece right there? Yes, I do. There you go. Thank you. She likes the crust, but I didn't give it to her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cut that right there. And what we'll do, we'll go ahead and place this on her. Oh, I can't focus on eating. Mm, that's pretty good. <laughs> we're going to place that on there. They're right in the middle, guys. Go ahead, you know, put your garnish back on there. Probably take that off anyway. Mm -hmm. Put that back on there right there. All right, Nisi. So we're going to do, we're going to put the toppings on. Do it however you want. You put it around there on the spinach. Okay, just bacon first. Put your bacon on there. And tell them what you're doing. Okay, I got this bacon. You feel me? Sprinkle it around. <laughs> All right. All right. And I got the strawberries. So I'm just going to put that on there. Mm-hmm. Everybody likes strawberries. Fresh and healthy, guys. Very Fresh and healthy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. She made my plate look good, y'all. Your <laughs> plate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then we have some mushrooms. The mushrooms on it. Mm -mm. Now, you can put any kind of toppings you like, guys. This is what I chose to do, but this is the special salad I make. Let's go ahead and get some, get tomatoes, some tomatoes on there. Yeah, put some tomatoes on there. Put a few tomatoes on, on both sides. There you go. Ooh. There you go. Want some more? Yeah, put a couple more. <laughs> really? There you go. There okay. you go. Make it look real good. All right. We gotta put some cucumbers. Gotta put some cucumbers. Oh, well, we're gonna be full after this. Yeah. See, guys. <laughs> Y'all don't believe it's a salad, but you know it's gonna make you full. Put that down. Now give me a couple red onions. You know I'm not really a red onion fan. I am. Put me, a, put me a couple. You don't have to put me a couple. Get that out there. Get that right there. It's my plate, y'all, so I can touch it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, because you all up in the camera. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, that's <laughs> I said a few. She, she threw me a whole thing down, y'all. It's a perfect let's get circle. Some, uh, let's get some... Here, I'm going to put some avocado on the side right here, guys. I'm going to go over here. Yeah, don't eat that. Just a little bit of avocado love. right there on the side. Don't be right taking there. my avocado. Yeah, I'll put one more. What? No, no, yeah, sir. Yeah, <laughs> one more right there, guys. 
And you know, I like boiled. Let's let's put some boiled eggs on the side for it, just for display purposes. But I like boiled eggs, so I'm gonna eat them. So go ahead and put that feta cheese on there. Throw, throw some crumbles on there. Uh -uh. Yeah. Let's do it like this. <laughs> what? I'm just gonna I, stop I, your I, helper. She's gonna pour the whole thing on there, guys. Accidents let's, happen. Let's do that. We don't want a disaster feet. Uh, see. Look, that that good, look. Feta cheese crumbles. <laughs> And, oh, what are we forgetting, Nisi? Oh, I didn't forget that. Go on, put that on I there for me. I just didn't want to give you any. No, right, we almost can't see the salmon anymore. I this know, how I you like know. You can, it's right there. Nisi done covered it up, but she did that. Put, some, put that on the side over there. This is my personal favorite. There you go. Look, you all up in the camera again. Bruce, we can see the salmon. It's right <laughs> there. We can see it. She I keep covering up like it's a uh, dirt pile. But anyway, got some lemon, guys. What you want to do? I'm gonna take this lemon, I'm gonna squeeze that over that lemon right there. I'm gonna put it on the side right there. All right, and then last but not least, let me show y'all this dressing that goes excellent with it, guys. This is called spinach salad dressing. I got this at Albertsons. I can't find it at Kroger or anywhere else. Uh, it's by Lighthouse. It has um, bacon, mushrooms, spinach leaves all in it. It's kind of sweet. Um, Got this Olive Garden Italian dressing. I really love that stuff, man. You, you can use that on chicken marinade. And then we got some, my kids like their all natural ranch dressing I got from Sprouts right there. So let's go ahead and put this dressing on it. And we're gonna put it on there right there, guys, as it comes out a little slow. Yeah, it's a pretty thick dressing. A little thick dressing, you don't need a lot. No, that's enough, Bruce. That's probably enough. Yeah, you gonna eat it all. <laughs> there we go. And that's it, guys. And, that's basically, this is my famous, well, famous with us right now, but hopefully it'll be famous with you once you cook it. Spinach, salmon, spinach, salmon from the smoker. We smoke this salmon. That's what's going to give it a good flavor. Hope you guys like it. Appreciate you tuning us in with toothpicks. I want to thank my daughter, Quinice. I'm hungry. For uh, yeah, doing me too. this. This is a late dinner, guys. We're going to go ahead and eat. Um, go ahead and have it with your beer. Nice shiner right there, like I said. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like the page and share with your friends. Thank you. Have a great night.